Greetings, brothers and sisters. So my last video got cut off. I don't know what happened. Um, luckily, I'd saved the project. I don't always do that. Um, so what ha originally happened was I uploaded the video, and YouTube uh, put a yellow sign on saying it was demonetized, but I figure it was because of the, the um, picture of Madonna with that leather mask on, which is, you know, usually a red flag. YouTube's actually pretty good of, at not monetizing things that are questionable, like vulgarity and, and things to do with, like, you know, um, sex and violence and things like that, right? Um, YouTube doesn't monetize things that are, you know, a little bit provocative. Things that you, you would see on regular TV, YouTube doesn't monetize. But I knew they would look at that and see it wasn't offensive. It took them a while. But anyways, I think because of that, I saved this project. I don't know how I cut off the end of it. Um, but here's the end of the video for those of you who were listening to it and were kind of bummed it got cut off. You know, I don't know why it was. Uh, but here's the ending. I was talking about um, how there's a certain segment, a group of people who blame the Jews for everything, right? They blame the Jews for, um, I think some there's some good jokes coming up. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, here it is. And so I'm not saying there was some great innocent people. Some peoples were better than other peoples, right? That is whatever it is. It's not for me to decide, and I don't care, right? I, and the whole point of the video was you can read the Akashic Records, but there's more going on than one is, you know, able to perceive from the limitation of a third-dimensional reality. But there are these group of people who have commented here over the years, and they are white Anglo-Christian who are very, you know, what they call themselves patriotic. And they blame, you know, this particular group blame everything on the Jews or some other group, but mostly, you know, the group that I'm referring to blames it on the Jews. And we say slavery, they say, you know, there's some people who say the, the blacks like being slaves and they wanted to come to America. And, you know, there's things like this that they believe. But this one group says that slavery was... The Jews tricked them into doing that, right? Like all the evil that was done by white people and the crown. They're big fans of the crown in England and all these founding fathers. But they're all tricked into doing that by the Jews, right? That's what they believe. And how bad do you suck as a race if another race who's makes up, there's like 15 million Jews now. And so there was, very, there was, many, there was fewer of them. And, you know, many of those Jews are, are different sorts of people, black Jews in various places and, you know, different types of people. So it, we're talking about a, such a small segment of the population. And if they can trick your race into, I mean, what you think is your race, into doing all these evil things, how bad does your race suck? How stupid is your race? Right? <laughs> like, like, why would you even take that position that you can be puppeted, manipulated so easily by, you know, a group of people, right? Like, you know, why would you believe that? Like, you just to excuse what you think is your ancestral, uh, you know, whatever it is, wrongs that you've done. No, we, we were tricked into doing it. You got duped that bad? Like, how stupid are you? Like, you know, like, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the, the excuse and the story you're coming up with. See, I don't care about people feeling superior because we all do, right? All of us in the truth community, we think we're so much better than the sheeple. You know, all of us who are, you know, thinking that we're awake, whatever it is, right? We all believe we're better in one way or another. Some people it's based in their race or their genetics. Some people it's something else. But most people believe they're better than other people, right? Every group, every clique thinks they're better than you know, the popular kids think they're better because they're the popular kids and the losers think they're better because they can see through the, you know, the BS of the popular kids, right? I mean, just, you know, all the various cliques and groups that exist and, you know, all these various, you know, identifying groups that are out there. Everybody thinks their group is better. Everybody thinks that they're better. I mean, some people have, you know, false humility, but most people think they're, you know, somewhat better than at least somebody, right? They're looking down on somebody because people like to feel superior. So I don't care, right? But just make it like reasonably, you know, have something like 
of merit to, to claim that you're better, right? Have some real reason, like something that you've accomplished. You know, not that, oh, we got duped by other people. <laughs> we got tricked into doing, like, horrific things. Well, then, like, you know, like, how stupid are you? Like, <laughs> Like that's not like that's not a good thing. You're not you know that's not something you want to brag about, right? And if you're gonna come out with a comment like that and you center the comment around that I'm somehow some, you know, secretive Jewish person, right? Some secret Jew or whatever it is, and you gotta be right about it, right? Like you don't come up with like then you are paranoid, then you are delusional. Uh, you, there's enough information out there. I was raised Catholic. Like I Went to confession. I went to my first communion. I talked about saying the the Hail Mary. I talked about saying the Our Father. Why would I lie about that? I only got, I only get like five or ten thousand. I get about ten thousand views per video. I'm usually around seven or eight thousand views, right? Per video, right? Like you know, on either channel, I, I don't have much influence. Nobody's buying me off. Nobody's trying to, you know, get to my audience. Most of my audience are people, you know, that are whatever they are, independent thinkers. And I mean, no one's going to be influenced by me. Right. And I don't offer influence. Like I'm not, you know, selling anything. I'm not pitching anything. I'm not, you know, I'm not in the loop. Like maybe if I had millions of, of viewers or whatever, you could say, all right, well, at least, you know, people might want to buy that influence. But like, you know, what I have is almost, you know, non-existent compared to the the larger scheme of things. And they don't even care. If they were smart, they wouldn't care because nobody's going to change anything. Nobody's going to, I mean, nothing's going to change. There's no, you know, people are going to do whatever they're, they're going to go along with everything until there's a major collapse. When they don't have food, when they don't have services, when there's, you know, disruption in what they consider their entitled life, everyone's going to sit there passively and watch the powers that be just you know, run in this new agenda, right? Whatever it is, Madonna agenda. I mean, that's why, you know, people should have been outraged and flipped out years ago about everything that's happening now, all the things that led up to where we are now. And nobody cares, right? There's no outrage. There's not enough, you know, and people are pacified. There's one more thing I want to say. My wife and I were just talking. Um, I read her the comment. We were, <laughs> I mean, you know, the person gave me a good shot. We, we laughed about it. I, I, la I laughed when I read it. I got another kick out of it this time when I read it, and I just read it to my wife. So, you know, it brought some joy into my life because they're so blatantly wrong and stupid. I, I don't want to say stupid. Their lack of, of expanded consciousness, right? Their lack of, you know, self-awareness. I mean, it's not being, you know, stupid is something else, right? It's a low level of consciousness. But those of you who watch, you know, most of all of my stuff know that I do Saj Marg or Heartfulness. It's the one thing I'm passionate about. It's my hope for humanity, my hope for myself, right? All these things. And the current master and president of the system has done some, like, just stupid, bad, corrupt stuff, right? And it's putting the whole system in jeopardy. It's a complete bummer for me. And I've talked about it openly because I'm not going to deny even the thing that I believe in most. I mean, especially that because I don't want to see it be corrupted. I don't know even how it could be saved. I mean, it's a, a real bummer. But people who watch my videos know what I believe in and what I talk about most and what I'm like probably the most expert in in, in terms of, you know, the thing that I've invested the most is doing Saj Mark heartfulness meditation, right? And so to call me Jewish, like, you know, there's so much evidence just out there of what I believe in, right? what I'm passionate about. Well, you think that's a distraction? Like, why would I, you know, like, you know, how do you get through life, right? How do you get through life without like banging into stuff and just like, how can you hold a job or just, you know, cook an egg or I don't know, like how, how can you even function? It's just, I mean, it's pathetic, right? I mean, Madam Expiration Date, you know, I mean, how, like, you know, you look at that and like she's functioning, like she has better consciousness, more awareness, self-awareness than, you know, a lot of these people comment, like, how do you even, you know, I mean, what are you doing? Like, what are you contributing to the world, right? <laughs> Anyways, holy spirituality will save this m and in world. It's Paramato, definitely reporting for the apocalypse and the ascension. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.